Gaatan, Yahiam. The Gaatan River begins in the Maolo area, flows for 19 kilometers, and reaches the Mediterranean Sea, after passing through Naharia. In the past, water flowed in the river throughout the year, and many springs around it were flooded. But, pumping the water a lot, caused it to be dry in the summer, and there is water in it only during the rains. In Horbat Gaatan, there was a settlement that began during the rule of Israel, about 3,000 years ago. According to the scriptures from the time of the Talmud, regarding the areas of the land of Israel, it is written that the place was a border to the mitzvahs that depend on the land of Israel. During the Crusaders about a thousand years ago there was an active settlement called Jason. About 300 years ago about the time of the Ottomans, the place was rebuilt. The Sursik family from Lebanon, purchased many lands in the north of the country, in Kirbet al-Yatun established the Khan Sursik farm on an ancient crusader structure. Today the place has been declared a heritage site. Near the farm, in 1948, Kibbutz Gaatan was established by members of Hashomer Hatzer from Hungary who served in the Palmach and over the years more immigrants from South America joined. In 1950, Mashiv Ein Yaakov was established by Jewish immigrants from Iraq. A little south of the mountain in 1946, Kibbutz Yehiam was established by Jewish immigrants from Hungary and natives of Hashomer Hatzer. The kibbutz is named after Yehiam Weitz, who was killed in an operation to blow up the Oxiv Bridge. It was built next to a crusader fortress called Yudin, which was built as part of forts to protect the roads to Acre. It was destroyed about 700 years ago, by the Mamluks. After the site had been abandoned for 500 years, Daher al-Omar, who ruled and built in the Galilee, renovated the fortress called Kelet Jadin. During the War of Independence, the Arab Salvation Army attacked Yahiam. The residents and fighters who came to their aid managed to stop the attack, but remained besieged. The Yahiam convoy was attacked and many were killed and failed to bring supplies to the besieged. Little supply managed to get from the air. In Operation Ben Amy and the operations that followed, Dekel and Hiram, the kibbutz was liberated. Today the fortress is a national park.